In question number 24, we have seen this kind of problem in the first race of parabola, elementary race of parabola. We have a circle whose center is 4, 4 and radius is 6. Therefore, it is away from x axis and there is a variable circle. I am sketching this variable circle as dotted circle. Center is P. We have to find the locus of P. It is touching this given circle externally and the x axis. Let us consider one more line, a line which is at 6 unit distance from x axis, below x axis. Why I have chosen 6? Very simple to understand. The distance of P from x axis is R. If I consider this line L, the distance of this P from this fixed line L will be R plus 6, which is same its distance from the center of given circle. So, PC and PQ are equal. P is a variable point whose distance from fixed point and fixed line are equal. Therefore, the locus of P will be a parabola. And for that parabola, this point will become the focus and the line will become the directrix. That is why the locus of P is parabola. So, our right option will be 1. Answer is 1. In 25, let us write the vector triple product a dot c multiplied by vector b minus a dot b c vector is equal to root 3 by 2 b vector plus c vector. I will bring those term on left hand side will make it a dot c minus root 3 by 2 multiplied by vector b minus a dot b plus root 3 by 2 multiplied by vector c. Now, it is given that vector b and vector c are non-parallel vectors. Therefore, they are linearly independent. So, these two expression must be 0. We have to calculate the angle between a and b. So, by this equal to 0, we will have a dot b equals to minus root 3 by 2. As they are unit vector, so cos theta or cosine of angle between these two vectors will be minus root 3 by 2. It means theta is 5 pi by 6. So, the correct option is 1. Question number 26. It is very simple problem of limit. It is in the form of 1 raised to the power infinity. Therefore, we will write it as e raised to the power x approaching to 0 plus tan square root x divided by 2x. x can be written as root x whole square. I kept 2 here. Now, x approaching to 0, this approaches to 1, this is half. So, it is e raised to the power half. So, the value of p is root e. So, log p will be half and as log p is half, so our right choice will be 4. Answer is 4.